welcome back to our Tech Bytes series. Today, Emma is back with us again and she'll be giving us an overview of our FDSS system and an introduction to the Cytocube. Why don't you start off with the FDSS? So for anyone who isn't familiar with the system, what is it? FDSS are functional drug screening systems, which are kinetic plate readers capable of simultaneous addition and reading in 96, 384 or 1536 well assay plates. These systems are fully customizable with a wide range of light sources and filters, for taking fluorescence and luminescence measurements at various different wavelengths. Our FDSS are useful for disease modeling, the high throughput screening of compounds for drug discovery purposes, and safety or toxicology research. The ability to analyze and monitor cellular responses at high throughput has huge implications for research across the life sciences, biomedical, and pharmaceutical industries. So for the benefit of the end user, can you explain how the system actually works? So the FDSS works through simultaneous addition and reading in 96, 384, or 1536 well assay plates. Here is a video of the FDSS in action, using the FDSS microcell as an example. Really simply, you can see here the process of the addition of a compound from the tips to the 96 well assay plate. The blue flashing LED light is your excitation light source, and then the detection and data generation is done simultaneously using a highly sensitive Hamamatsu camera, like our Image EM, EMCCD, or Orca Flash 4 V3 SCMOS camera. The final step is the analysis of the data, which can be done using Hamamatsu's own software. Can you tell us a bit more about the types of FDSS systems that we do? Yes, so the FDSS microcell is our compact, economical screening system that is capable of simultaneous addition and high-speed fluorescence or luminescence reading in 96 or 384 well assay plates. The system has the option of a light source and filter changer for FRET or BRET applications, a number of compound stages and a tip washer which allows tips to be reused. The system also has a robotic integration option for the automation of assays. The microcell can also read in 1536 well plate format, however our larger FDSS systems are more suited to these 1536 well assays as they can simultaneously dispense and read in this format. Our larger systems also have the ability to dispense a greater number of compounds, have increased washing facilities and built-in automation. The evolution of our larger high throughput screening systems started with the FDSS 6000, then we had the FDSS 7000 and we will be releasing the latest of these 1536 systems in 2022. So does the FDSS have any other features that are important? The FDSS has five key features that make it unique. Firstly, we have the high-speed acquisition software, which allows you to look precisely at really fast phenomena. Secondly, is the analysis of the waveform software, which enables quick and easy analysis of calcium oscillations. The FDSS is able to create an environment for the cell that mimics that in the body by maintaining various conditions using the final three features. The temperature control function keeps the cells in the plate at 37 degrees. The CO2 incubator allows you to keep CO2 concentration in the plate at 5%, so the same as normal physiological pH. And finally, electric field stimulation, or EFS, is a unique feature of the FDSS microcell that simultaneously stimulates all wells of a 96 microplate, doing this column by column and altering the voltage in each using a pacing head that has 96 electrodes. EFS is a really effective technique for the pacing of cardiomyocytes, contraction time and control of skeletal muscle cells, and controlling neuronal calcium oscillation. What are the advantages of Hamamatsu's FDSS? The main advantages of the FDSS as a screening system is that they allow users to carry out quicker, more reliable, economical assays. Our systems have the flexibility and modularity to be configured specifically for each user's needs 
and offer a variety of different, unique options. Their reliability comes from being a well-built system that uses highly sensitive Hamamatsu cameras for the detection. The FDSS are very user-friendly, easy-to-use systems, plus you have the added support and expert advice from the Hamamatsu team. I very briefly mentioned the Cytocube earlier. Can you tell us a little more about this upcoming system? Hamamatsu have developed a novel 3D fluorescent scanning method called ZincScan that performs XZ plane scans using a light sheet for cell-based fluorescence assays in microplates. This technology will be used in our new product, the Cytocube, which is essentially a light sheet microplate cytometer that provides an XZ plane scan for the whole 96, 384 and 1536 well microplates. This will allow users to obtain 3D fluorescence images of whole wells, 2 to 3 micrometers in XY and 6 to 7 micrometers in the Z plane, constructing a voxel image using line scanned tomography. This is used for looking at various in vitro cell culture models in more detail, including 3D cell cultures such as spheroids and organoids. The Cytocube is a move towards high content screening while also maintaining the high throughput element seen in the FDSS. This new technology is needed to advance phenotypic assays and screenings in line with the rapidly growing need for more physiologically relevant in vitro cell culture models. Finally, can you summarise the impact that Hamamatsu screening systems have on different research areas? With over a decade of experience in high throughput systems, Hamamatsu have developed highly reliable screening systems that benefit a large number of research areas across the life science, biomedical and pharma industries. Our systems are effective for disease model and stem cell research in the field of life sciences, for lead compound identification in the drug discovery process and safety evaluation of compounds for toxicology research. If you would like more information about either the FTSS or the Cytocube, please get in contact with us here at Hammermatic.